guys, well someone asked me to make a GIF tutorial or GIF or GIF anyone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what you do is first you download an anime like anything I guess. And then you get um download a KM player. And then once you have it and you have a part where you want to like make a GIF setup, um, what you do is first click CTRL plus G and then this should come out and then from here what I did was I put middle and continuously and original size because like it'll be more more clear I guess and I did um every three frames and then I just click start and then you play the part where you want and then like you stop it and um, make sure your picture goes to the place where you want it to be where you want to save it and from here you open up Photoshop and then you go file and script and load files into stack and then you pick the parts where you just did it try to get like less frame as possible Then you should load like this. By the way, if you um if your script load files into stack doesn't work, then that and it says like error, then that means that yours is probably not a it's probably Photoshop 5 because Photoshop 5 didn't work for mine either, but then um, and I, since I use Photoshop 4 now, it works. So I like, I think it's better if you download other Photoshop than Photoshop 5. And then what you do from here after it's done loading is you click this button and then you, you make frames from layers. And then what you do is you click reverse frames because yeah and then I change the time first I usually do 2014 and then I if you look closely there's like a black line here it's because it's mostly from horrible stuff so I just pop it off this is the cropping and then I change my size and then I click image, image size and then I normally do 500 and from here I just and then this is what you do and you have it right here but like most of the time, 20 frames is kind of a lot. What I do is I normally decrease it. I don't know, just like 20. And then from here, I just play with these a little bit. I just go curves. Place the curves. Yeah, just however you like it, I guess. And then, 
shot it. Mostly, I most of the time I sharpen mine. So like, what you do is how you sharpen it is you click the frame, and then you click it here where it has the eye, and then you click filter sharpen, and then you click the next one, and then the next frame right here. And then like, it's kind of tiring to sharpen it, like clicking every time, so what I do is I click C, T, R, L, and F, so if you click it, it sharpens. And then I just do that for everything. I think there's a way where you can sharpen everything at once, but I'm just way too lazy to learn that, so I just, I just go through this too. And then from there, I do files, save for web, and yeah. And from here, you just check. It has to be under 1 and B, I think. So it's like under it, so then you just check to see if it works. And then you just do save. And you just save it. And from there. You see, these are all the ones that I made. Let me save it. And then you're done. I hope that helps.